Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Phil, this is Samantha. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got more Bob Dylan on the channel today. We do, this is our third Bob Dylan song. It is, now what order it gets released in with copyright issues, you never know, but yeah. this is the third one that we've done and uh, or we're doing. This is all thanks to Mark and his requests. Yeah, Mark's the uh, Bob Dylan fan that's got us on the Bob yeah. Dylan wagon, so it's a good thing too because Bob Dylan clearly has a, an extensive catalog. Yeah, it's been a fun journey so far too. The first two that we did were very different from each other. Yeah, different in the uh, setting of the lyrics, I mm -hmm. would say. The delivery, uh, I'd say. Yeah, I think the sounds were similar. Mm, but, yeah, like um, a folky kind of sound. Yeah, but you know, stylistically there wasn't much difference. But like you said, the lyrics were different. And I think maybe we might expect that on this one a little bit too. I think this is a little more serious of a song. Okay. And uh, it's also one of his memorable songs that he really enjoys personally. Oh, cool from what we read anyways. Nice. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we're getting a little bit more influenced or into uh, Bob Dylan, I should say. And uh, we also have a quick pop quiz question for you as well. Yes. So we want to know what is Bob's full birth name? If you know the answer, you can drop it down low. If not, don't worry, we got you covered. Got the answer for you at the end of the video. We'll let you know at it's the gotta end. stick around. Yeah, anyways, it's a seven and a half minute song here. Uh, so you ready to check out a little more lyrical content from Bob Dylan? Yeah, the, let's get her moving. The great Bob Dylan? Yes. The notoriety of Bob Dylan? You wanna experience <laughs> it a little more? Yes, Phil, let's do it. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Darkness at the break of noon Shadows, even the silver spoon The handmade blade, the child's balloon Eclipses both the sun and moon To understand, you know too soon There is no sense in trying Pointed threats, they bluff with scorn Suicide remarks are torn From the fool's gold mouthpiece The hollow horn plays wasted words Proves to warn that he not busy being born Is busy dying Temptation's page flies out the door You follow, find yourself at war Watch waterfalls of pity roar You feel the moan, but unlike before You discover that you just be one more person crying So don't fear If you hear A foreign sound To your ear it's all right, Ma, I'm only sighing As some worn victory, some downfall Private reasons, great or small Can be seen in the eyes of those that call To make all that should be killed to crawl While others say don't hate nothing at all Except hatred Disillusion words like bullets bark as human gods aim for their mark Make everything from toy guns that spark to flesh-colored Christs that glow in the dark It's easy to see without looking too far that not much is really sacred Why preachers preach of evil fates Teachers teach that knowledge waits Can lead to hundred dollar plates Goodness hides behind its gates But even the president of the United States Sometimes must have to stand naked So um, one thing I noticed right off the bat with this one is that he's rhyming a lot more of the lyrics than in the other two songs that yes. we've done. Because actually that was something that stood out to me was that in like kind of the rhythm melody aspect, there wasn't a lot of rhyming going on. That felt like it was a little, not off to me, but it was unique in the way he was doing it. It's there different. were some rhymes in there, but it wasn't like, you know, a lot of poetry, for example, you know, have that, you know, rhyme pattern, right? And 
So I felt like that was kind of the offset was that he had done it in a way that was unique and different, but um, still kind of maintained that kind of structure a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this one, I feel like he's focusing a lot more on making it more of a poetry based song of you know consistent rhyme pattern yeah i think that makes sense though from the first one that we did because he was doing more of storytelling so like i wouldn't really expect it to rhyme mm -hmm. because he was just kind of telling the story right but in mm -hmm. the second one it makes sense like you said i never thought of that that it is kind of like different that he wasn't doing that but it was still something that was supposed to be more of like a melodic flow mm -hmm. yeah and uh so this one like i said is, is a little bit different um the one thing i am having trouble with a little bit is the extensive length of the bar structure so like when I say that, I mean, he's kind of got this rhythm where he'll say some, you know, say some stuff and then the guitar comes back in and, and gives you a break and resets and we go back into another section. And through each section, I'm kind of like, it's so long and there's so many lyrics. I'm trying to tie in like the lyric one to the lyric, you know, end of the lyric, mm -hmm. uh, end of the bar structure. And it doesn't, I'm like having trouble putting it all together. Mm -hmm. Like the end one and bar there, he said about the president standing naked, right? And obviously, I think that's alluding to with some of the other bars that he was saying about the power structure and some of the hypocrisy that happens and the way that rich richness and greed can be used and, and all that. So I think I'm just having a little bit of trouble tying in some of the lyrics all together. Yeah. I also think that he kind of, like you said, it's longer, but he also goes pretty fast through mm -hmm. those two. So I feel like it's kind of like by the time I'm like processing what he's saying in the beginning is already in the end. And then we're on to the back to that musical or the instrumentation portion. Um, but one thing that I do like is kind of that back and forth between like the heavier instrumentation in between each of those lyrical components and then they pull back on the instrumentation while he's delivering the vocal mm -hmm. and then it comes more prominent again in the front so it's kind of like a you know back and forth which yeah. i like that i think that's kind it of what keeps you engaged stand out more, yeah right? exactly which is the focus of the song yeah and um you know it's obviously purposeful in that way because they want the lyrics to stand out based on what he's talking about that's why i'm really trying to focus in yeah and you know obviously i understand some of the the concepts that he's discussing was specific lyrics but i'm not like i said I'm trying to gather the bigger picture. And maybe as we've mentioned before, that is not the intention with Bob Dylan. It's just for some lyrics to stand yeah. out to you. Yeah. And though the rules of the road have been lodged, it's only people's games that you got to dodge. And it's all right, Ma. I can make it. Advertising signs that con you into thinking you're the one That can do what's never been done That can win what's never been won Meantime, life outside goes on all around you You lose yourself, you reappear You suddenly find you got nothing to fear Alone you stand with nobody near When a trembling distant voice unclear Startles your sleeping ears to hear That somebody thinks they really found you A question in your nerves is lit Yet you know there is no answer fit To satisfy and sure you not to quit To keep it in your mind and not forget That it is not he or she or them or it That you belong to But though the masters make the rules For the wise men and the fools I got nothing more to live up to For them that must obey authority that they do not respect in any degree Who despise their jobs, their destiny, speak jealously of them that are free do what they do just to be nothing more than something they invest in Well, 
While some on principles baptized Too strict party platform ties Social clubs in drag disguise Outsiders they can freely criticize Tell nothing except who you idolize And say God bless him So uh, what are your thoughts on our little more added Bob Dylan here in this song? I feel like he's, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like he's kind of talking about just like society a little bit in some of that. Like he was talking about um, the specific line, I can't remember, but he was basically saying how like, you know, the masters make the rules for the fools and the wise men. And that essentially like, you know, kind of going on that, that topic you were saying about hypocrisy and just, you know, there's like these people in power and everybody else is kind of like in the same place. And I think even with the president line before of saying that, you know, even though he's naked, sometimes it's like we're all human and we're all kind of like going through the same thing. I don't know. Yeah. I think the way, uh, now that I'm listening to it more, I think it centers around authority and um, rules yeah, and that these rules are made by powers that apply to all of us that may step out of the realm of just what you would see on the surface. So um, there are, you know, whether you want to call them a shadow government or uh, people that are working behind the scenes, big corporations, whatever yeah. in that line, I think would apply to like the president, meaning that they have to stand naked sometimes too. And that like, although they're the president of the United States, you think they have the most power in the world that they still have to abide by these rules as well. And this, this authority that's delegated from something. And I don't think he's really alluding to what that is, so to speak. He's just saying that we all kind of are blind to the fact that there's something kind of, you know, leading the ship and that yeah. we're all like because you made mention of marketing companies as well yeah yeah advertising, advertising. right so and like that, persuading you to do certain things yeah exactly yeah. so in that light i think you know that's representative of a lot of the lyrics that he's been talking about is that we're all being kind of swindled in one way or the other but he's saying i think that he doesn't abide by these rules and that's why he's saying it's all right ma like i'm okay don't worry about it because i am aware of these things going on yeah and these rules don't necessarily apply to me as much because i'm aware of them yeah he made another line and there's something about like being jealous or something i don't know if jealous is the word that he used but something essentially about almost implying that some people are prisoners to this and that they're jealous of people that are free mm -hmm. and i think he's kind of implying to himself that he's and he said like i have nothing to live up to and stuff so i think he's saying that like he doesn't fall in that category yeah like he you doesn't said. fall in that lane right yeah While one who sings with his tongue on fire Gargles in the rat race choir Bent out of shape from society's pliers Cares not to come up any higher But rather get you down in the hole that he's in But I mean no harm Nor put fault On anyone that lives in a vault But it's all right, Ma if I can't please him Old lady judges watch people in pairs Limited in sex they dare To push fake morals, insult and stare While money doesn't talk it swears Obscenity, who really cares? Propaganda all is phony While them that defend what they cannot see With a killer's pride, security It blows their minds most bitterly For them that think death's honesty Won't fall upon them naturally Life sometimes must get lonely My eyes collide head on with stuffed graveyards False goals I scuff at pettiness which plays so rough Walk upside down inside handcuffs Kick my legs to crash it off Say, okay, I've had enough What else can you show me? And if my thought dreams could be seen They'd probably put my head in a guillotine but it's all right, Ma. It's life and life only. So 
So there were, I think there's just so much lyrics in this song yeah. that it's hard to catch it all on your first listen. It's literally seven and a half minutes, right? Of just yeah. nothing else other than the the melody and the in the lyrics, right? And mm-hmm. um, that's the whole song. And it's interesting because I like lyricism, so I was totally engaged with it the whole way through. And mm-hmm. I've said that I think for every single Dylan, Dylan song, which is very cool. Um, but I think like it would definitely take more than one listen to oh, catch this. It probably it'd take, take me like ten. 10. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know, I think maybe there's more meaning to this, as we've said with other songs that we've done already than just one aspect There's there like may be more layers two layers three layers <laughs> yeah or different subjects are all being talked about and tied together uh you know it's hard i think for me listening to it first time around to understand what perspective we're coming through whether yeah. it's his perspective whether it's the world's perspective whether it's somebody else's perspective yeah um because he doesn't really clarify that in the language that he uses. Yeah. He talks about like the lines are said in a way that you don't really know who he's talking about or what he's referring yeah. to specifically. Like what perspective. And maybe that's done purposefully so that anybody can apply the meaning of the song yeah. in the way like that open they want. Open for interpretation type yeah. thing. Yeah. But as I said in the second break that we did, I think I still feel the way I did at that point that the song represented those ideas. Yeah, that makes sense for sure. I just think there was a few bars in there specifically that, um, you know, stood out that I would like to go back and check out again and see what the meaning of it was that he was referencing, um, you know, like hanging upside down with handcuffs on or yeah, walk, I was walking like, upside down what? with handcuffs on. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, my thoughts are in a guillotine. Yeah. Um, so is he, again, referencing his thoughts relative to this authority and the rules and they don't like his thoughts that he doesn't abide by these rules. And that's why they want to put his thoughts in, a, in his head in a guillotine, basically. Um, you know, is he walking upside down with handcuffs on because he's, you know, walking in a different mold and not applying, you know, by these rules, but he still feels like he has handcuffs on because he has to bite his tongue a little bit and can't allow his thoughts to mm-hmm. fester completely. Is that what that meant? Yeah. So clearly, like I said, there's a lot of depth to it and whether I'm way off or not, you guys can hopefully help <laughs> with yes. providing that insights. But anyways, what, yeah. what are your thoughts? And I don't think he even, like, did he say in the song, I'm only bleeding? I don't think he did, right? He said, it's all right, Ma. And he said different lines, but he never said that. Can't remember. I don't, don't think I he did. I didn't recognize it. Yeah, I don't think that he did. Um, yeah, for me, I think that there was a lot of depth. I think a lot of it went over my head on like a first listen because it's a lot to take in. Like you said, there isn't really much break in the song either, right? So um, I got similar vibes to what you were saying of like kind of what the song was about. But, you know, like we said, obviously he goes very deep with his lyrics and, you know, is very thoughtful when he's putting all this together with you Mm -hmm. know what he wants to evoke in people and what he's talking about so you know i'd be interested to learn more maybe about you know what this is he's talking about more in depth um they may not even know yeah one thing i do like about him though is he seems to have this this kind of you know obviously the folky sound but he brings the harmonica into every song Mm -hmm. too which i think is cool and that is kind of something i'm aligning as like more of like you know maybe he doesn't have like a signature signature style but he kind of has a signature sound with this like folky aspect with the harmonica and i feel like that makes him stand out a little bit too like we have done songs that have a harmonica in them but i feel like he presents it in a way that's different than a lot of the other ones it's more of you have the expectation you're going to get a harmonica in a bob dylan song yes. than in other ones you're surprised when yeah you your exactly right? so like when it came in i was like oh he used it again right so this is the third one in the yeah. row where he's utilizing that well we better give them the answer to that question that we yes. asked they've been sticking around for a while listening to <laughs> us ramble so yes we better give them that answer and the answer to the question of what was bob's real name is Robert Allen Zimmerman. And uh, yeah, so switched up his name. I think there might be a backstory on that as well, how he came up with the name Bob Dylan. I think it might be mm-hmm. revolved around he was a poet or something like that that he referenced the name from. I'm not sure. Interesting. Anyway, you guys can let us know yes. the details on the name, but uh, his real name, like Samantha said, is Robert. So uh, you guys hopefully enjoyed our reaction to Bob Dylan. It's all right, Ma. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment, hit the notification bell with the subscription button to make sure you don't miss anything going forward. If you don't know, this is your first time on the channel. We drop two videos every single day. That means you got to come back tomorrow and check out our next one. Yes. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you then.